Welcome to our friends from all over the world to one more episode of We Are One. I'm your host, Alessander Palm, and today we are here with Waltraud Rieger Cross, our dear instructor from Germany. Welcome, Waltraud. Welcome. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, <laughs> wherever you are. Um, shall we wait or? I think um, we can start right away uh, while we wait. Um, today, I would like uh, you to hold the middle finger at the beginning. Um, doesn't matter how you hold it. If you just grab it from that side or from that side, it doesn't matter. Um, I would like to talk about the how we can eliminate fatigue out of our system. And the middle finger plays an, a very important role. Um, it has to do with the energy of creation. It has to do with our vital energy. So the middle finger is connected to, the, to many, many functions. One function is that um, we know the middle finger releases anger, releases frustration, but also it brings creative energy and uh, anger is oftentimes when our creativity cannot be lived. If we cannot live our creativity, if we get suppressed or if we suppress ourselves, then we get irritated, we get grumpy, we get angry and we kind of get restless. And all of this can be harmonized by the middle finger also frustration helps us to calm down and we have an energy flow in the body that is called fatigue flow for those of you who are new to jin shin jitsu um, we are talking about energy flows in the body um, these energy flows receive universal vital life energy and and they feed the body with life. And there are many, many pathways in our body with, with different functions. And we can hold so-called safety energy locks, points. They are not points. They are bigger than points. They are centers. They are as big as your, the palm of your hand. And they are located along these energy pathways. <clears throat> and by placing our hands on these safety energy locks, we can harmonize this energy field in the body. And the energy, if the energy field in the body is harmonized, we feel totally relaxed and harmonious and you know, there are no extremes in our attitudes and so on. But due to our lifestyle and due to our thinking and to our attitudes, this energy can get blocked. And that's why we put our hands on the body or on fingers to allow this energy to run freely through the body. So the middle finger is related to a flow that is called fatigue flow. And the fatigue flow is the flow that takes the fatigue out of the body. What is fatigue? It's not only tiredness, it is deep exhaustion. It is when we use up our energy too much, when we are always running, 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 doing, 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 doing. And maybe the one or the other of you have maybe noticed now in these times where we cannot really go out so much, where we have to stay home, um, that, that we feel much better, that we have much more energy, that our reserves are maybe uh, building up. Or maybe you are still in the face of fatigue. Because when we stop running, the fatigue comes up to the surface. When we stop doing, 
when we stop going, 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 always on the run, always on the go, then all of a sudden our real condition shows. And those of you who feel very tired and fatigued then, you know you are generally doing too much. You know, your body is now regenerating and helping to build up that energy again. You know, it has also to do with the um, adrenals, with the um, hormones that are released in the adrenals. So if we use them up too much, we kind of go into a hollow, into a burnout even. So anyway, the flow that helps us to regain more energy runs through the middle finger. And now I want to guide you to the next step. We hold energy lock number three. Number three is right here at the um, shoulder, a little bit behind the shoulder. You know, when you feel your um, scapular, the upper part of your scapular, then you are right. So we are holding number three, and the other hand is holding number 19. 19 is right here at the elbow crease, you know, when you bend your elbow. So you can place your fingers here and then bend your elbow. So this is a very important step also to support, to eliminate fatigue. Fatigue, there is, you know, there are different um, levels of fatigue. We can have spiritual fatigue. That is when we do not have fire anymore. No enthusiasm anymore, you know. No joy in life anymore. Everything is, is, is like an effort, you know, we have to put effort to work and to do the things that have to be done. Then there is mental fatigue. That comes when we think too much. When the thinking goes in circles and all the, if I would have done this, then it wouldn't be so bad. And all the, you know, would have and should have thoughts going around in circles that creates fatigue that, that takes a lot of energy. And there is physical fatigue, tiredness, but also there is, there is a fatigue that has to do with waste products in the body. With, you know, if we are, if we have too much acidity in the body, if we have too many toxins in the body, that is also called fatigue. Yeah, we get sluggish, our body gets pain. This are things that kind of get stored in our joints and the joints will become stiffer and there will be pain in the body. So all of this is being removed by the number three with the 19 or by holding the middle finger. This is also supporting the lymph flow in the body. And the lymph is helping with the immune system. The fatigue flow or the flow that I'm talking about is, is more or less the motor for our lymph in the body to move. And the lymph is collecting any kind of waste products, any kind of proteins that are too big. 
it's helping to get out, get rid of the bacteria, it's collecting the viruses and brings it into the lymphatic system, into the lymph vessels with the lymph nodes. And in the lymph nodes, we have T cells and antibodies that help to eliminate all of this. So our energy log number three opens the energy for the lymph and it opens the energy for exhaling and inhaling. The breathing is being supported. It brings motion, movement. So it keeps the energy moving. It moves our defensive energy. It protects us. It's like a natural antibiotic system. And it's the door for better understanding. Understanding and accepting the situation. We can understand, we can accept. And the number three is helping us to bring a new solution. It's like in the numerology, the one stands for unity. Number two stands for the opposites. And the three is bringing the opposites back into a new unity, into a we are one. It's the we. It's the we in the one, in the oneness. And it brings a new solution. It lifts us up to a higher vibration, to a higher understanding. It's, it's even like illuminating us. bringing new ahas to our life. And of course, number three helps also the shoulders and the arms, any shoulder discomfort, any neck tension. It helps to detox the whole body, mind and emotions. So we can receive the breath of life get rid of all the waste products, get rid of the fatigue and receive the fresh breath of life. And since it's on the shoulders, Mary said, keep your shoulders down and you can't catch anything. Also, our attitudes have a big connection to the number three. If our three is not moving, is if our three is not dancing, we'll be caught up in the attitudes. We get stuck in them. Emotions is normal. We, we have to have emotions. That's part of our life. 
But if we get stuck in an emotion, we call it attitude. So number three brings movement so that we don't get stuck. That we don't get stuck in belief systems. Mary said, the basis of all healing is a change in belief. And number 19 on the elbow says balance. I keep you in balance. I'm balancing the heavenly energies and the energies that come from the earth. I'm balancing your spiritual life and your material life. So that we are able to nourish both. Because oftentimes we are exhausted because we neglect the needs of our soul the needs of our inner life. So 19 says also authority and leadership. I am my own authority. No one else has power over me. Yeah, I'm taking on my life. I, I have the responsibility. I'm responsible for everything. It also strengthens our self-esteem. also a way it helps us to protect ourselves. Right now, in these times, we need protection. And it supports the breathing, people who are coughing, So let's hold the middle finger on the right hand. So my left hand is holding the middle finger. In Jin Jin Jitsu, there are many mudras that work with the middle finger. And they all help to eliminate fatigue, stress and fatigue.
the middle finger has to do with the middle of the body, the center. And in the center, we have the main central vertical flow that receives cosmic energy. So the middle finger is part of that. It brings creative energy helps us to find meaning in life. Middle finger also clears the eyes, any project with the eyes, and helps us to see the truth. Now, the left hand goes to the right number three here. I just place my hand over the shoulder and the other hand goes on to 19. Okay. 19 at the elbow, at the crease here of the elbow and then I just hang my hand like a coat hanger. It can also go under the t-shirt then I don't slide down so easily, then I can just have a better grip. So very comfortable hold, self-help. And right under my hand here on the neck and on the shoulder, there are many, many, many lymph nodes. And by holding them, I'm activating them. I'm helping that they take the lymph from the face, that they clear everything from my face down, from the eyes, from the nose, from the ears. Everything has to come down here into the major lymphatic ductus below the 22s. It goes into our vascular system and so it's just um, very important for anything that comes in through the nose or through the mouth that we have a strong lymph flow here, that we have a, a strong immune system. Mary said, this is our natural antibiotic system. So the number three is very important to prevent any kind of cold, flu, viruses, bacteria, anything. And 19. 19 also helps us to bring physical fitness to the body. It helps me to surrender to a higher authority. When we are children, we rely on our parents on the teachers, they are the authoritarian people for us. And then we develop into, I am my own authority. I'm trusting myself. I'm listening to my own, my, my inner self. 
And maybe then we realize that there is also a higher self. Where we slowly start trusting a higher authority. I think that is what is the challenge of now, of the times of now. Something is happening that we cannot influence. I don't have authority anymore over the situation right now. I have to surrender in a way. I can't do anything. So I might as well surrender to some higher guidance. Listen within that comes mostly through within myself. Comes by listening inside. And as I say all of this, I'm also telling this to myself. This is the nice thing, nice thing when we teach, you know. Whatever we tell is also something what we tell ourselves because, you know, I'm also not there. I'm on the way and we are all on the way and try our best and so it's good to say this sometimes to other people and to yourself. So uh, at the end, I would like to um, read a quote. The quote from Rabia of Basra. She was a female Islamic saint. She lived between 717 to 800 and one before, no, after Christ. And she said, when God said, my hands are yours, I saw I could heal any creature in this world. I saw that the divine beauty in each heart is the root of all time and space. Thank you. That's all for today. Mm -hmm.